The president's budget proposal eliminates public media funding. Learn how you can help at lptv.org action. And speaking of state tournaments, the Grand Rapids boys basketball team punched their ticket to the Class 3A tourney for the first time in four years last week. Despite making their first state tournament appearance since 2013, the Grand Rapids boys basketball team says experience won't be an issue. That's because this team is built on hard work and hustle. We got to be just running all over the place, flying around, making the hustle plays give ourselves second opportunities for scoring chances. Even with a 25 and four record, Grand Rapids comes into the tournament unseated and with a little chip on their shoulder as well. I think we should have been seated. Uh, it just gives us a lot more motivation to try and do big things on it. We've got to go down there and, and with a, a sense of uh, you know urgency to again compete at such a level that uh, maybe we make uh, the experts uh, rethink their thinking. The Thunderhawks drew a tall task for their first round opponent. Third seeded Marshall has eight players 6'3 or taller. That's why they say it'll be important to get their big men going early. It'll be huge, uh, especially on the defensive end. Brock and Jack being our two big guys, uh, we're going to need them to step up defensively and shut down their two big guys. And uh, offensively, uh, we're at our best when we start the game inside and work out. I think uh, the guys, uh, they know it's a, you know, a, a tough task, but uh, I think they're excited to, to go compete. And for a team that has prided themselves on family all season. At the back of our jersey says family. They'll have to rely on that family just a little while longer. We can play with anyone in the state and, uh, you know, we're playing good right now. If we can keep that rolling, we could we can make some stuff happen down there. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.